Welcome to another Rearward Cursor Editor tutorial. I will show you how to create a simple animated cursor with an arrow and drops of water. Switch to the Create page and select New Mouse Cursor Wizard. The editor does not differentiate between static and animated cursors. Pick a color for the cursor outline. I will select a dark blue color. When you are happy, click the Create Arrow Shape button in the toolbar. You will see an arrow outline drawn using the selected color. Pick an interior color a uh, bright blue in my case. Set arrow tail size to 0 and arrow head size to 20 pixels. Click OK and you have the basic arrow. You can generate smooth arrow shapes with this wizard in seconds. Open the layer panel and add a new layer. Rename the old layer to arrow and the new layer to pool. Then move the new layer down. Switch to the Curve tool, set its width to 1 pixel and draw an outline of a puddle. Enable the Closed option in the Tools panel. You can make the shape more complex by dragging the green points. When you are done, activate the arrow layer and switch to the, the dropper tool. Click inside the arrow to select the bright blue color. Switch back to the pool layer and to the pencil tool. Set blending mode to paint under and fill the pool. Don't worry to draw on some of the pixels of the outline. <laughs> Click the Duplicate frame button in the toolbar above the list of frames. Add a new layer to the duplicated frame and name it Drop and move it in between the other layers. Select the dark blue color in the list of recently used colors. Use the Curve tool without the Closed option to draw a water drop. Then use the same technique as before to fill the interior of the drop with the bright blue color. Duplicate the frame and select 
the drop layer in the new frame. Switch to the Move tool and move the drop layer down by one pixel. Duplicate the frame again, select the drop layer again and move it down again, but by two pixels this time. Repeat the same, but move the drop by three pixels. Turn on the animation in the preview window to see how it looks like. Then duplicate the first frame and move it to the end of the animation with your mouse. Select the pool layer, switch to curve tool, select the dark blue color and draw a ripple on the pool. You would have to switch to paint over blending mode. Then switch to the brush tool, set its size to 2 pixels and draw 3 dots over the pool. Look on the preview to see how the drops are falling into the pool. Duplicate the first frame again. Add a new layer to the duplicated frame. Move it in between the other layers and rename it to small drop. Then draw a small drop into this layer. Draw the outline with the curve tool. Fill it with the pencil tool using the paint under mode. The next thing we will do is adjusting the animation speed. Each frame is displayed for a given amount of time. Observe the numbers under the frames. Increasing the number under the first frame to 30 will make it visible for half of a second. Simply select the frame and type 30 on your keyboard. The drop should probably fall fast faster Decrease the numbers under the frames with the falling drop to 6. Finally, increase the duration of the last frame to 12. The cursor is complete. Save it. Since we are using layers, the default file format will be layered cursor but cursors with layers cannot be directly used in Windows. Change the option in the Files of Type field to Animated Cursor Files. It is a good idea to save the files both as layered cursor for future modifications and as animated cursor if you want to use it right now. Let's review what we have done. The animation is accomplished by displaying a sequence of different frames. Since the animation cycles, it is a good idea to somehow connect the content of the first frame with the content of the last frame. Thanks for watching.